guys, welcome back and thanks for taking the time to tune in to, to watch the wee tan. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to tell you my variation on a fly called the usual, the usual shrimp. Now the usual shrimp was, um, I think it was first tied by a man called Martin Ritchie or Marty Ritchie. Um, but it's basically based on a, on a fly called the usual, which was a like a type of tamble dog type, type pattern from Scandinavia. So I'm just going to show you my my variant of it. Now the hook in the vase is a size 8 Partridge Patriot double and black nickel. I'm just starting to get my boards ready. Um, so I'm on the 8s. The thread we're going to use to tie the fly is the uni thread 8 in white. I'm using the white because we're going to put a, a nice glow bright tag on the back here. So just work your thread down Sort of way halfway down the shank, remove your waste piece of tang thread. Then we're going to put on a glow bright number 14 for the tag. At this point, this is where you would maybe put on a wire or an oval silver tinsel or something like that. We're going to put the, the glow bright floss on. We're just going to tie it in on top, bring the glow bright floss in, and then just work our, our thread down until we're sort of way in line with the, the points of the hooks. And then we're just going to create our tag. Right, just bring your tag down as far as you would like to see it. And then back up. I'm going to go up and down a couple of times here just to get the colour that I want in the tag. And then on the last turn bring it up and in between the, the two hooks. Just follow this around with your thread. A couple of turns will catch that in. Now we're going to protect this. You have to protect it, or else you'll just ruin the fly. So we're just going to come in with some UV resin. Now, this, the UV resin that I'm using at the minute, this is the, the UV clear resin from Blob and Buzzer. And you'll find Blob and Buzzer on social media there, on Facebook. We just need a wee pinch of stuff, just a wee small amount, and then we're just going to spread it round the tag, just to protect it, and just to cure it, we'll come in with our torch, and just light it up. Now just make sure it's well cured before you continue to tie the, the rest of the fly. Now we're just going to bring our thread back down to the tag that we've created there, the wee glow bright floss tag. Now the tail is a mix of yellow and orange bucktail. Now if you're going to slacken your bucktail, take what you think you need and then just reduce it by half. That's what I do. Anyway, now I've just got some off here, so I'm just going to measure this up to the hook. And I want this roughly about a length and a half, the two lengths of the hook over the back. Just come around with a pinch and loop. And just work your thread forward. And then we'll come in and trim this way, a bit of a tapered cut. Now in the tail I'm going to put two strands of pearl microflash. Couple of turns, just fold them back, a couple of turns over the top, come and trim that away, get another fly out of those. Now at this point just work your thread forward, just nice and tight, tying in the tail, and if the tail starts to move on you, just bring it back up on top. Now don't stop your thread there where you've created the taper, take it on up to there, the rib. This is just a gold wire that I'm using, an ultra wire, UTC ultra wire, in gold. We'll just tie this in on the way back down. Now, the, the usual shrimp has a good reputation for taking the, the bigger salmon. Now, I'm just going to come down on the tail, just hold your tail 
bring your thread down tight up against your tags once our, our tail nicely created. At this point you could use um, gold glow bright gold dubbing anything you like. I'm just going to use the uni mailer um, silver and gold and this is in the, the size 10 so we'll just take a wee strip off We want the, the gold side, so we're going to tie this in with the, the silver side facing up. That's what I mean by the, the silver side facing up. And then just work your thread forward, just nice and tight. Now, if you wish, at this point, you could put some varnish or super glue onto the body. Then we're just going to come around with our first tight turn. Just check, make sure you're nice and straight up against your tail and your glue braid flows tag. And then we're just looking overlapping turns up the body. A couple of turns will catch in your mylar, throw away the waist. Then you're looking four turns of the gold wire up the body. Follow that around with your thread. A couple of turns will hold that. Bend and break away the wire. Now the wing, you're looking some brown or fairy brown fox or her of any type as long as it's that colour. So we're going to get a wee pinch of her our fox here. Have a wee check. It's too much, so that's what I thought I need. So this is what I mean by the bucktail. So just reduce it. Just reduce it by half. And do the same with your hair. It's a bit better. Then we'll come and trim that away from the tail. Just clean out the the under fur. Now see if you put that in the wee bag. It's great for dubbing, a fairy brown, for caddis patterns. Right, I don't want the, see the guard hairs here, I don't want those in, they're too light for me. I'm just going to take those away. And length of wings up to you, you have it short, you can have it long. I just want it with the tips coming past the, the bends of the hooks at the back. Just come around with a pinch and loop, a couple of turns, see how we're, see how we're sitting, just checking the length, yep, that's grand, just come in and lift the waist, trim that away, I'm going to put two strands of, this is the micro flash, it looks like it's gold, but it's in a, a fairy brown colour. Got two strands of the the fairy brown micro flash. Stuff with those up into the wing. Around with a pinch and loop, a couple of turns. Fold your waist ends back to lock them in. Trim that away. We'll track the, the length of the, the flash. I'm happy enough with that. Now, the first haggle at the front. I'm gonna put on a chartreuse. Now, if you buy or you have purchased the cock saddle capes from Vanyards, you will have noticed that the hackles at the top, on well, some of them are they're right and big, but they're good for tan flies, salmon flies. So I'm just going to check the length against the wing. Just come in with a turn, fold the tip back. Bring your thread back up over the tip and the hackle. Just slide your fingers back, the tip will pop out. And help you fold the hackle, just come in with your scissors and just run it up the, the hackle stem to start the process. 
and just come in with your fingers now. I'm going to look probably two turns of this, something like that. Let's just see how we get on first. Well, it just depends on the haggle, on the fibre that you're sort of way winding around the hook. It's going to be plenty there, so I'm going to catch this in underneath, follow it around with my thread. A couple of tight turns, just working up towards the eye now with the thread turns, and I can break that away. Now, if you don't feel comfortable breaking your haggles away, just trim them off guys, but the more comfortable you get with your your tying stay, then the more confident you'll be. Now at the front here you can put on a, a straight through Kingfisher blue cock or hen haggle. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to use a, this is a, a lace wing. This is what you call a lace wing haggle. This is dyed in a, in a kingfisher blue. So we're just going to offer this up to the hook. Same again, we're just going to come around with a turn to catch in the tip, fold the tip back, and just tie up over the tip and the haggle. Nice and tight. Break away the, the tip and back in with your scissors again. And you're really going to turn turn the half of this at the front Just put another half a turn in that's going to be plenty there catch this in off underneath a couple of tight turns going to fold the, the stand back in this one bring my thread back up over the top keeping your thread tight and break away the stem at that point. Now, just to finish off, I'm just going to put on two jungle cock eyes. Now, you don't have to put jungle cock on, you don't have it, don't bother with it. The wee fry will still, will still work for you. So it's just getting more and more expensive, jungle cock cheaper band of gold bar. Now that's the the two eyes so I'm just going to offer these up to the hook at the same time. And just use your the eye of the hook as a divider. Just offer them up. Just come in with your other hand, just hold them under the hook. Come around with loose turns. Slide your fingers back and then just see what way your jungle cock's sitting. Now, I'm happy with that. So just come back in and hold your jungle cock eyes, tighten up with your thread turns, fold your eyes, fold the, the stems of the jungle cock back. Now if you fold your stems of your jungle cock back, it just means that the they have to break off guys, they, they can't pull out. Keeping your thread tight, just break away the stems of the jungle cock, don't let your thread go when you're doing that, keep it tight. And then come straight in with your whip finishing tool. Just the one or two turn whip finish. Pull your thread tight. Come in and trim away your, your tan thread. Right. We're just going to come in here and just brighten the head up with another glow bright floss number 12. That one there. And you could use a red here. Or you could use a glow bright floss number 5. Whatever you like. I'm just showing you that you, you tap with what you've got. So I'm just working my thread up over the top of the glow bright floss. I'll just trim that away. And then just come straight in. And throw in a whip finish. Put your floss nice and tight. Come in and trim away the, the glow bright floss. So that's my take. On the, on the usual shrimp if you like. Now, first coat onto the head, <laughs> excuse me, we drop the super glue, just right the whole way right round. Now you don't want to touch your, you want to touch your dressing, so just take your time, 
There's no rush. And then once that dries, guys, I'll come in as always and just hit that with a with a couple of coats of varnish. But there you go. So that's my take on the on the usual shrimp. And this is just the start of them. I had already tied that wee one there, so I just decided to show you the video because I wanted to see you tan them. I want to see you anybody that's new to fly tan getting into the craft. You tie your own flags. Don't we get more people to tie them for you? So look, we're heading into the back end of October now. Um, you're probably maybe sitting thinking about sitting down the next couple of weeks, maybe coming up over the Christmas period if you get a chance and tan yourself some flies. That's well worth a place in your box. Um, either that version or the, the version that uh, Martin Ritchie had originally tied. So look, tie a few up. Hopefully they can catch you a few fish. As always guys, many thanks for taking the time to view the video. It's very much appreciated. Um, if you like the wee videos that I'm putting together and you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please consider subscribing. It's completely free. It helps the wee channel grow. Um, and until next time, please stay safe, look after each other, and uh, take lanes. <laughs>